A lot of times in life, we ask ourselves questions, especially when we're entering a new stage of life. Good morning. What do I want? I do. And, and the motivation people will tell us, how badly do you want it? And uh, why do you want it? I do. And what will you do to get it? This would be a motivational speaker's uh, starting point. But we're going to talk about God's wisdom. Can anybody see a flaw in, in what I just was saying? What do I want? How badly do I want it? I'm trying to help you out here. Um, do you know what uh, the, three the bad three-letter word is? S-I-N and the big I in the middle. Okay, the big I. The real question is, what does God want? How important does God think it is? How much does God want this for me? And since basically when we're asking, uh, why do I want it, how badly, it's we want to be fulfilled. And, we, and the question we ask, do we really believe what God says is he will fulfill us? He will make our paths right when we trust in Him. Our series is Break Away. I want you to break away from the worldly thinking. Worldly thinking that leads to bad decisions. It starts with our belief. One of the beliefs that gets us all the time, and it's in the first few chapters of the Bible, and it's when Eve was tempted by the serpent, and the devil said, did God really say you weren't supposed to do that? And basically, he's trying to withhold something good from you. If you really, if you ate that fruit, you'd have all the knowledge in the world. So the first thing is, every time we think, to be happy, I have to step out of God's way, remember back to the first few chapters of the Bible says, that is the devil. Anytime you have a thought, I can't be happy doing it God's way, I'm going to have to do it my way. You can be sure the devil put that thought there. Because God has promised, and he tells us about wisdom, is to believe God, do things God's way. And then you will have the best future. Now the only thing I've noticed about God is his time is not my time. You know, I noticed that a lot when, when the, even the grandbaby was a week overdue. I, I, I'm still working on that virtue of patience. It's really, it's really down on the scale. Of <laughs> I was getting grumpier as the week went on. And, and I don't know why, I just get worried or whatever. And uh, I always wanted to put a sign on myself one day, approach, you, you know, with caution. And I, I, I'm not usually a person like that, but uh, when, you, when you're waiting, you know, God's timing is different than your timing. And the same when we want, when we say, Lord, I'll do things your way. Uh, I, I was going to bring the box of instant mashed potatoes because we are an instant gratification society. And we're like, well, I prayed about that, so, uh, you know, I, I need it tomorrow. Uh, today would have been better, but I can at least, but, you know, God's timing is different. But he promises if we walk in his ways, we will be the most fulfilled that we could ever be. These scriptures told us about wisdom. It said, do you have a passionate desire to understand God's ways? If you'll notice, all these uh, words in these scriptures talked about treasuring God, seeking God with with. Seeking wisdom, which is really another name for God, because uh, God is pure wisdom. And it talked about treasuring God. Do you have a strong desire to do God's will? Now you, like I said, get it settled right from the start. You won't have that desire if you think God is trying to withhold something good from you. That is never the case. God will always bless you one way or the other. He'll send somebody out of the blue. You, you, you won't believe what could, what could happen if you just trust the Lord. Have you uh, 
Ever worried about a family member that doesn't live nearby you? You, you can just pray and God will send somebody their way. You know, if you can't be there, God will send his help. It's, it's just amazing if we will trust God. But first we need to ask God, if we don't have this passionate desire to know God's ways, and it talks about treasuring his commands, treasuring his commands, this week, now a lot of you are, will, will probably tell me you're not big readers, right? So remember we got that video series. I want you to get on your com computers right now, ministry. Okay? You need to get on there because you can watch something. In fact, I watched something this week that helped me with the sermon. There's movies, Christian movies that can inspire you. There's the kids' cartoons. There's Bible stuff. One thing was 10 minutes long. Do you got 10 minutes to, to try to treasure God, to try to say, Lord, I want to be a little closer to you. And maybe you're not a big one to pull out your Bible, but you're on your computer all the time. You're hooked up to the Internet, right now media. Okay? Put it on there and click on something that interests you for 10 minutes. But start to treasure God's word in your heart. You know, if you know what God's word is, it'll come to mind to you sometimes when you really, really need it. It's God's will, God's way. And we need to put those thoughts in our heart to treasure those. It talks about the Lord gives wisdom to the upright and protects those who do justice. Now, we all want protection from God, and not that God won't bail us out if we've got ourselves in a, in a bad spot. But there's a place to walk where God can bless you, and it's not doing your own thing. Where God can really bless you is if you stay right in the middle of his will. Meaning, you might think of something you would like to do, and you'll think to yourself, will this honor? And if it won't honor God, I won't do it. I won't do it. You know when Jesus' disciples were first called Christians? They didn't name themselves that. Their, un, uh, I guess, unconverted neighbors named them Christians. Little Christ. They act like Christ. Wouldn't you want people to say that about you? And wouldn't you want to lead that for the Lord? God will put you places that you need to be and you will be asked to be a blessing. You know, in the Bible it tells us the light overcomes the darkness. <coughs> the light of Christ. Every little bit of light that you will give, that you will walk in God's ways. The Lord gives wisdom to the upright and we want protection. Protects those who do justice, who do good. We can be right in the center of God's will. Be passionate about learning and doing God's will, God's way. Some of the words in the scripture talk about cry out for discernment and lift up your voice for understanding. If you seek her as silver, but I'm reading a different version, but talking about as much as we would want to win the lottery, <laughs> go after God's word, you're going to find a better treasure. Uh, Martin Luther, who started the Protestant Reformation, said it this way, I wish Christians would go after the Bible the way the dog goes after her food. <laughs> you know, if you only realize what a blessing that was going to be, especially when you trust God each day. You know, there's a thing that people look for in life and they call it happiness. And that's when all the circumstances come align under the sun. That, that usually happens about one minute out after <laughs> every month or so. That every, but if you want joy, what meaning is things aren't all right in the world. They aren't all right in my life and my family's life, but God is in control. And God is good. And so I trust him and I have joy. 
After Helen Keller had made a speech, someone went up to her and, and just blurted out, how can you be happy? She was blind and deaf. And she, she tries to the Lord, she, there's so many minutes the Lord gives us that are good. She, just trusting in God and finding gratitude and believing that God will bring good for those who are called according to his purpose. And we are called according to his purpose. We're over Labor Day weekend, and I want to remind you whether you're in retirement or you're still in the labor force, every work we do, if we do it for the glory of God, it is God's work. If we're pounding a nail, but we do it to the glory of God. If we're at home washing our dishes and we do it to the glory of God, we, we're talking to God and we're thankful. We're honest in our work. You know, we, we try to treat others that we come across the way we'd want to be treated. All work brings glory to God. When we do it for God and do it with love and honesty toward other people. Just to say in your heart, if you can't remember all these scriptures, a lot of times I'll just pray this too, but God blesses and protects those who love to do God's will, God's way. So a lot of times in my prayers I say, Lord, help me do your will, your way. And God will remind us what that is that we need to do. But it starts right up here when we sing the song, Love the Lord your God with all your mind. If you don't let Satan tell you that God is trying to withhold some good from you, that you'd be better off. I, I think I told you before, but we, we had a confirmation class, and uh, we were we had where we went and visited all these different places. We visited a synagogue, we Greek Orthodox, we went to a Catholic church, and I, I said I'll never forget what the Catholic priest said. He said to the kids, but it was to the adults too. You're never smarter than God. <laughs> Just remember that. If you think you've got a better way than what God said, don't believe it. You're not. None of us are smarter than God. What he wrote down is the truth, is the best, will bring the greatest satisfaction, even if it isn't instant mashed potatoes, it will come. Wait, wait and see the salvation of the Lord. Amen. Let's pray. Lord, in all things, may we trust you. You've promised good to us, especially as we will walk in your paths. As we will learn about your words and put them in our heart so we won't sin against you. As we put your word in our heart so that your Holy Spirit can guide us away from evil. Lord, we know in the wilderness you overcame the devil with scripture. And so may we hide scripture in our heart. May we know the words of the Bible. May we quote them to ourselves in our head. May we sing them in our songs in all ways to defeat the devil and to walk upright as little Christs, as Christians. And we pray this in your holy name.